What's going on guys? Robert here with the Back Satchel Hunters. Um, yeah, I figured I'd come out here today. It's beautiful weather. We've got some clouds rolling in here, a few thunderstorms on the horizon. Uh, but I was going to come out and shoot today. Uh, you know, do the pre, I guess, pre-season gear checks, get familiar with a new rifle I plan to use this year, uh, and just go through my gear. So I was going to do bag dump, going to do gear reviews, going to review the rifle I'll be using this year. Uh, actually, here it is. Yeah, I, I left it at the house. So, uh, anyways, uh, I will be using a Barrett Fieldcraft this year, a super lightweight rifle. I'm not sure if any of you guys are familiar with it yet, but I was looking for something that was a little more well-rounded in caliber selection. Still could take anything, you know, I guess as far as elk and below. Of course, around here it's primarily deer. When we go out west, it's mule deer, antelope, occasionally maybe an elk we would go after. So, I'm, uh, I'm running it in 7 mm 8 the uh, old fateful caliber this year. Uh, when I really got down to studying ballistics, you know, it versus 308 and similar calibers in that short action range, uh, there's, you can't, I'm sorry, you can't argue and, and you can't disprove, you know, physics and ballistics. Um, it is a superior round whenever you leave it in the, uh, the grain weight and I guess projectile selection that, uh, that it was designed for. So that will be being posted shortly. If I ever drag it out here, it's 100 degrees, it feels like. Uh, Humidity is outrageous. But it was going to be one of those days today that I would come out here and do a little review, a range session. I just, to be honest with you, I've been lazy. So maybe within the next week at some point, we'll drag the field craft out, do a little range session review. There's not a whole lot of material out there on it yet, at least from what I've seen. Uh, I know it's relatively new, uh, but then again, not really. It's been out for a couple of years now. So, uh, I guess some airplanes flying over. But anyways, so I just come out here to our little family farm, a uh, place that I hunt. I've, actually, the only place I've really hunted up until a few years ago, we decided to start going out west. And, I mean, other than other local locations I would hunt, this is kind of my, uh, my go-to place for shooting and hunting and anything and everything between. So, any of you, I guess you outdoors guys know, like if you're a hunter, fisher, or whatever, you're a hiker, backpacker, Sometimes it's just nice to get out and go to uh, go to one of your spots that you enjoy spending time, and I guess that's what I'm doing here today. So just kind of walking around. I guess I could be scouting, you know, essentially. The grass is seven foot tall, but um, yeah, just getting kind of pumped for this season that's coming up once the temperature and the leaves start to fall. So it's, uh, it's not too far out. 